Favorites of Chanel, welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video is brought to you by Salem Cult Eternal. Hails to all the viewers and friends in Salem, Oregon, as well as the Patreon. If you're new to the channel, what's going on? If you're a veteran, hails. And today, I've been just obsessed with this since it arrived. Some of the, like, best modern black metal I've heard almost all year. Like, the new Commodious is really, really good. But I do not own a copy of it physically. But Blood Soaked Veils by Cemetery Seance. Wow. What more can I say than wow? I mean, I'm wearing the band's t-shirt in the new Accursed Womb album promo photos. So, you know it's something kind of special. I'm not the one where I'm wearing an incantation shirt. Uh, oh, it's over there. The Onward to Golgotha shirt. Not that one. It's a newer one. But every track on here is amazing. And if the name Cemetery Seance sounds familiar, they did that split with Realms earlier, which I should have grabbed, but I just was not thinking whatsoever. And I don't know if that's it, and I don't want to just grab it and have it be the wrong release. I know it's over there, though, because I see uh, the War Metal uh, project. Anyways, but um, Gray Sun did not do this. This is Cemetery Seance. I guess it's just DIY released because it says CS002. And like, I could not find this digitally. I just listened to it seriously, like back to back to back to back. Next day, three listens. The next day, four listens, and then yesterday, two listens, and today, this morning. So, yeah, I feel comfortable going over what Soaked Veils right now, because it's not only fresh in my head, but, wow. Like, some of the tracks on here... Like, if I had to pick a favorite, though, that's where it's kind of hard, because this is one of those albums, like, I, this is the B-side, where I feel like you're better off just listening to the entire thing. And if you haven't heard Cemetery Seance, Try and get your hands on a copy of this. I know not many exist. And again, I forgot the letter and stuff downstairs. So you know what? I will be right back. Hold on. Told you. Told you I'd be quick on that. I wore the t-shirt in a video a couple days ago, but this is the t-shirt design. Great logo. How sick is that? Now again, I opened, I opened it 
but just look at that. That's some DIY TLC. Do it yourself, tender love and care. Cause that was obviously like hand hand burnt and everything. Hell yeah. And the C for cemetery seance. That's awesome. I'm pretty sure to dye paper like this, you use tea bags and you put like white like printer paper in the tea bag soaked water and then take the paper out and let it dry and it will end up like this old style. I could be wrong, but I swore I learned that in like art class in school, but check this bad boy out. I have number four. We got a, uh, I don't know if that's like a sigil or an autograph. I'm not sure, but greetings. Now this was a gift, so don't be confused here. Thank you for purchasing this musical abomination known as blood soaked veils the first release from cemetery seance you must truly be a nonsensical person hails for supporting underground black metal what you hold in your hands is something rare only a handful of these have been sent out Because I truly cannot be bothered. I love black metal. I hope you feel special. <laughs> Joking aside, it is very much appreciative. It's very much appreciated. I hope you enjoy the other offerings that have made it this way into this parcel. You make this possible for this to continue. Thank you. I had better get off the toilet now. Hails. CS Cemetery Seance. Love stuff like this. Straight up, like, Scandinavian. Black metal worship. And with, like, a little bit of even, like, typo negative. There's parts on here where I legit was like, whoa, it sounded like if Typo Negative was like a black metal band. Because like there's parts where like, he does that like Peter Steele type, like deep voice. On this song especially, like it just kind of reminds me of, uh, uh, from grace she will fall the image burning in her eyes and between her thighs like it's just got that like typo vibe to it like this is a perfect album to listen to in the autumn in my opinion I've been, that's why I've been enjoying it so much, because we've been actually getting fall weather. Amazing release. Like, again, I really hope 
a lot of you can find a copy of this. Cemetery Seance, Blood Soaked Veils, because this is an amazing album. Especially coming off just like the realm split, which I feel like those who know, you already know that Cemetery Seance rules. I forget how limited that was. That's the only reason I'm like drawing a blank. Amazing. And now this is the type of black metal where they could have went for a way more raw recording, but this is just on the money exactly what it needs to sound like. But the synthesizer usage, honestly, is absolutely ridiculous. It makes this sound... Yeah, uh, copyright Cemetery Seance via Cemetery Seance. All songs produced and written by Cemetery Seance, but the artwork is by Dylan Garrett Smith. And the artwork is fantastic. I don't know who did the logo. But again, I don't know if he did this artwork, but oh my goodness. That, it's so cool. <laughs> this sample's great also. But again, like, I, I, I love when bands just go out of their way to just like, make stuff just cool like this especially in the realms of black metal where to me it's it's a lot of laziness like i can't tell you how many times i've seen black metal bands live and like there'd be other like black metal kids outside of the show like waiting to hand you the demo for like their band but they would just like get a blank cdr and pretend this is like a sandwich bag it would just be like a cdr in a sandwich bag with the band's name written and like demo 2005 and i'm sure like i'm sure i missed some really good bands because most of those went right in the fucking trash and i legit like regret doing that but i was i was young i didn't really know but like i remember the one time like i i knew the kid that was handing out the demos and when i listened to it i was like like i, I this is during the myspace days i hit them up on myspace and we ended up like playing a show together and stuff Back when I was in Skeleton Proof Tanks and stuff. So it, it worked out really well. I, I, I love... I, I really can't get over how sick Blood Soaked Veils is. I hope this gets a vinyl release. And maybe a bigger... I hope it gets like a official release as well. I'm sure it, it will. I'm guessing I got an early copy or something. But legit, the synthesizers on here, along with the vocals, the riffing, hell yeah. It's like very 90s synthesizer heavy black metal with still that Salem, Oregon cult vibe. And it's awesome. Thank you so much to Cemetery Seance. Everybody in Salem, Oregon, Salem Cult Eternal. And trust me, if you like your black metal classic, 
especially like early emperor like for example real quick if like this is your favorite emperor release You are going to absolutely love Cemetery Seance. The Emperor self-titled slash Hordain's Land split, whatever version you have. But, wow. Like, seriously, like, the first time I listened to this, I was just like, what? Like, this is so gnarly. I legit could not get over how, like, just good it was. And, yeah. Thank you again to Cemetery Seance for making today's video possible. Just real quick. Listen to the synthesizers, if possible. Yes! Hails to Cemetery Seance. Blood Soap Fails. Blood Soaked Veils by Cemetery Seance. So good. Thank you again to Cemetery Seance, everybody that's made it this far into the video, the Patreon, and yeah. Thanks for watching as always, you fucking rule. Hails.